Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 14 to 22. Get off the fence. Paul writes, Therefore, my beloved, flee from adultery. I speak as to wise men. Judge what I say. The cup of blessing which we bless, isn't it a sharing of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, isn't it a sharing of the body of Christ? Because there is one loaf of bread, we, who are many, are one body. For we all partake of the one loaf of bread. Consider Israel according to the flesh. Don't those who eat the sacrifices participate in the altar? When am I saying then that a thing sacrificed to idols is anything or that an idol is anything? But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I don't desire that you would have fellowship with demons. Demons here being evil spirits, evil entities. You can't both drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You can't partake of the table of the Lord and of the table of demons. Or do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? Paul is saying, listen, get off the fence. You can't drink of the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons too. In other words, you can't go and do your own little thing over here and also go to church over here. You have to make up your mind. Get off the fence. You cannot compromise here. You cannot be lukewarm. You cannot be a hypocrite here. You can't play two sides here, okay? You're either fully in on the Lord or you're fully in on the world. There is no compromise. There's no room for sitting on the fence here. So for those of you who are on the fence and you know who you are, I encourage you, actually I implore you, get off the fence. Get on one side or or the other. Don't play both sides. Until next time, seek God with all your heart. And if you seek God with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.